Hi everyone, I am back with another topic which might interest some of you and it is a topic which is not really talked about uh, that is uh, when if you are planning to join an industry uh, then when you should join should it be after masters or should it be after PhD and whether you should even think about joining an industry what are the advantages what are the disadvantages so I'll try to sum up all, all of those things in this video all right now um, personally speaking I was also a, a individual who was um, you know more inclined towards academics I initially did not have any interest in going towards the industrial side of things now or into the corporate side of things especially when you talk about science but uh, somehow the situations were such that I had to take up a position in the industry and trust me that was one of the best decisions that I have ever made um, which I did not intend to make but I had to make right um, so I'm not saying whether I'm going to stick in the industry or not that is something subjective that depends from a person to person or individual to individual but definitely uh, I can say this that I have learned a lot of things okay I might stay I might not stay I can't tell uh, you know you about the future how it how it pans out but currently I am enjoying it a lot and so if you're someone who uh, thought about industry but someone told you that you know it's very tough um, or it is very difficult or something of that sort let me just tell you a couple of things first is that um, in the um, you know in the industry everything depends upon your manager so it even does not depend on the organization so what I mean by that is like in your PhD you have a guide and you know most crucial aspect of your PhD is what kind of a supervisor or what kind of a guide you get similarly in an industry also you have managers okay so because when you enter after MSc or PhD of you, you would not be the head of the lab right you will have a manager who acts like a supervisor or guide so even if you know somebody tells you they did not have a pleasant experience in an organization that could be because they did not get a good lab manager or they did not get a suitable lab manager okay so in the same organization if you get a good lab manager you would have a totally different experience okay so of course organization culture is something else but apart from that the immediate thing that matters is what kind of a manager lab manager you will get okay so that is very important so some people who did not have a good experience it could be because they did not have a good lab manager or you know they could not um, get along with the lab managers uh, but honestly speaking I have had a very good experience over here uh, my man lab manager or my supervisor he is an excellent individual so I that's why I am today telling you that I have a wonderful experience so of uh, see it is very subjective so you should definitely give it a try nevertheless that's my point okay so even if you're inclined towards academia I think uh, industry is something you should definitely give it a try even for a short span of time but you should definitely experience it because um, industry teaches you efficiency okay it teaches you efficiency anyway um i g went a little off topic so my question or my uh, like your question would be when to enter whether it is good to enter after msc or whether it is good to enter after phd so um i mean again this is something which is um your choice it depends on a lot of factors but yes i can give you some guidelines which will definitely help you out so I think one should definitely join after MSc. Okay, now your question must be, they do not take freshers, uh, you know, all industries ask for experience, which is true. Uh, but if you have references, I have, I have talked about this a million amount of times that if you have references, references are very important. And to be fair enough, it is, it is, uh, it makes sense. See, when you enter the industry uh, for the first time after MSc, um, you will be uh, treated as a trainee. Okay, and all trainees have to undergo, um, you know, a, a, a one year training or a six month training or whatever it might be, depending upon the organization. So for them, each and every individual is almost the same. So, you know, it, it could be that you have a lot of you have a lot of knowledge or you have a very good grades. But ultimately, they are going to train you in their own way because, you know, uh, the kind of training you get in M M MSc or in academics and the kind of frame training you get in industry, it is totally different. Okay, they are not even slightly correlated okay little bit correlation will be there theoretical from a theoretical aspect but practically there is no correlation okay so ultimately you are going to be trained uh, by the industry itself so for them it is more important that they can get individuals uh, who um, 
who are well known by the employees of that company okay so that's why references play a big role especially when you have to enter as a fresher so uh you know just one small example that i would like to quote in order to emphasize how important is references uh recently uh, you know um professor uh jagadish was appointed as the uh, president of the australian academy of sciences okay so he was um an indian who was born in andhra pradesh he did his i think phd and mphil um uh, everything in india then he joined sri venkateshwar college which is which is a college in delhi university he taught there as a professor for 3 3 years okay and then he went for postdoc and from there he got the opportunity to go to australia and now he is the president of the australian academy of sciences so i was going through one of his articles and he mentioned that um you know he applied for postdoc after his phd uh, while he was serving in sri venkateshwar college as a lecturer he applied for postdoc to more than 300 places and he he was not shortlisted for any any one of the positions okay but then some some of his senior or a friend came from canada okay from Q, uh, queens university and he referred a uh, professor jagdish to his supervisor and that's how he got his first postdoc position and then now you can imagine now he is the president of the australian academy of sciences which is a very big thing first of all okay so you know it's some some people think it's demeaning to take references but it's not the case okay sometimes things do work out for references so start building contacts and start taking help from your contacts okay it if you think you are skilled enough you know there's there's no harm in taking help from the contacts anyway <coughs> so the uh, the point that i was trying to make was that why you should join um, you know after uh, msc is that first of all industry teaches you efficiency now i have also recommended in my videos before that you should join as a project associate or a project assistant so as to get some idea of research but you know joining uh, an industry uh, makes a lot of difference because industries are very efficient in the way they work okay you will get to know about very modern techniques because most of the industries use the modern equipments the most up to date equipments okay and uh, and you know you will you will learn to um how to uh, write a uh, you know lab uh, laboratory notebook that is also uh, a very uh, like industries lay a very strong emphasis emphasis on writing each and every protocol and i have seen that in academics there is no such you know stringent rules to maintain a laboratory notebook which is very very important okay so industry teaches you a lot of other aspects which um unfortunately academia cannot teach you and apart from that uh one complaint that i do uh, you know receive from msc students is that they pay you very less okay so i can tell you about organic chemistry or in the pharmaceutical industry an msc fresher might be paid approximately i think between 3 to 4 lakhs okay roughly that's the average you can be paid more but 3 to 4 lakhs is the average so roughly you get around 25 to 30000 every month now you just have to think of it think of it in this way just try to change your perspective you are coming out of msc and literally if you think from an industry point of view or from an organization point of view you have to be trained you have to be trained for a year okay and in that training you might be breaking glassware you might be wasting chemicals you might be wasting solvent okay because you are getting trained so think of it in this way that the industry is literally blowing off that money just to train you okay so whatever money you are getting you, if you think from a perspective from a different perspective that you are getting trained and you are being paid for it so if you if you just change your uh, way of looking at things you will understand that it is not a bad opportunity because you are getting trained and then after a year you can definitely leave it once once uh, you know once uh, you feel that you have had the experience and now you would want to pursue a phd you can definitely do that okay so just keep that thing in mind and let's say you work for a couple of years in the industry um and then you you know go for your phd so what that would do is that later on after your phd see getting a job in the industry even after a phd like uh, right after msc if you do a phd and then you try and find a job it's not that easy okay let me tell you so it's not like after msc it is difficult but after phd it is easy after phd also it is very difficult to land up a job in the corporate sector or in the industrial sector right so when you have this one or two year job experience after msc and then you do a phd later on it will become very easy for you after you complete your phd to again you know get a job in the industry so that is also one factor that you need to consider and uh, you know if you if you think about it um, getting a job as a msc fresher 
would be slightly easier than getting a job as a phd fresher because um, as a msc fresher they can pay you quite less but when you join a you know company after phd they have to give you a particular like of course they would have to pay you a higher salary so that's why you know um companies would prefer a msc fresher over a phd fresher so these are some of the advantages uh, if you join after msc of course like i joined after phd like i to- told you there were certain circumstances you know the pandemic was there and uh, you know uh, some personal issues also because of which i had to take up that position but i am glad that i took that position and i'm really enjoying as of now um uh, my position in the industry okay so uh, i mean you should i i personally vouch for it that you should definitely uh, experience the the life in the industry because it teaches you a lot um both in terms of science and uh, from a professional point of view also it teaches you a lot of things so um take your call again this is just something that i uh, i wanted to convey to you okay i am not vouching for something that you should do this or you should do that of course there are certain other factors also but these are some in- important uh, you can say pointers that i wanted to discuss with you right so anyway i hope you found this video helpful if you did please give this video a big thumbs up and uh, do share it with your friends or your juniors who might be joining if you are already pursuing a phd you can definitely recommend them as well so that they can make a better decision um about it all right so uh yeah that's it thank you take care bye bye hey guys so i am a verified educator on an academy and along with that i am also available on the unacademy plus platform where i am taking live classes along with other educators so in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is sethi sethi and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is acht once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform all right